hurricanes on the line. We always looking for a QB to drop some dimes. Talking to you with Sebastian Lane. Only scouting five star players to impact the game. The whole point is to make a run for the ship. Throwing bones, whether we at home or on a trip. What we want, blue chips. Or a beast in the middle of that defense to make a hit or flip. When they try to come through the eight gap without block, you can bet whoever got the rock face gets slapped. You know that you only bring in the fastest. Bonafide athletes that can catch it or pass it. Electrifying talent that can take you to the house. Coming for the top dogs on the coast and in the south. So if you think you know the game, get your talk on. And if you ain't riding with the canes, go on ahead and get your walk on. We talking about the game with Sebastian Lane. And scouting the recruits that can really bang. Players with stats to make the Hall of Fame. It's called a dynasty, watch it rise again. We talking about the game with Sebastian Lane. And scouting the recruits that can really bang. Players with stats to make the Hall of Fame. It's called a dynasty, watch it rise again. Yo, 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 what's happening? Welcome back to another Sebastian Lane with your guy Dave and Rasta. We, uh, we have a special treat tonight. Um, we obviously just recently got a, a commit from a running back out of Tampa, Armwood to be specific. Gerard Pringle will join us probably within the next five, ten minutes. So it's been a while, right, since we saw the bat signal. Um, you know, so it's kind of like, who is this guy? You know, what about him? Like he's, he's not Alvin Henderson. He's not uh, Uzman Chroma. Like, who is this guy, right? Well, when you look into it, he was offered by Coach Merritt when he first got here. He was being recruited by him, you know. So it's, it's a familiar face to our coaching staff, but not so much the fans, right? When you dig into this guy, he's got elite speed. Right, he's a blazer, which kind of fits right into the running back room. What we have with Chris Johnson, uh, Hellcat. I mean, Trevante Sims is not slow. You know, he's not a blazer, but he's got some good speed. So it looks like you know the the running back room switching a little bit. But we also got meat in there too. So I wouldn't be shocked if this isn't our last guy, right? So we're gonna break down and get into him here in a little bit. First off, how you doing, Dave? How you been? It has been a minute since we missed last week. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, off last week, so we should be rested up, right? Should be ready to go. So yeah. uh, always good when we can come on and talk about a commit. I know those bat signals are few and far between. We'd like to see one every other day. Yeah, you know, it doesn't work quite like that. But you got to love the direction, man, like we were talking about earlier just the roster. I know it's got to carry over to the field. I get it, but size and speed, this thing looks so much different than it did three years ago. And when you look at that running back room, all the guys you just mentioned, and then when you look at guys, you know, with, with the size in that room as well, Fletcher and those guys, and then the guys left on the board now, it's going to be interesting to see where we go running back wise. Uh, you know, do we go, do they do, kind of what they've done the last couple of years. You know, now you've got your speed. Are you going to get a guy with some size? You know, uh, Byron Lewis, Kyle Mills Knight, guys like that. So, uh, go mirror, see where we go, man. But I'm excited about the room, excited about how the roster looks, and just speed for days, man. Things look really good. I'm excited to get this young man on tonight and hear a little bit about Coach Merritt. That's why I like new coaches. Just when you think you got it figured out, man, you get a new coach, and that board just changes, right, because they got guys they've recruited guys they've been after and they just kind of bring that over and kind of the way he sort of reached out and, and wanted to be a cane. So, but we'll let him tell that story, but excited to get him on tonight, man. Yeah. I, I know once, you know, we looked into him to watch this film, it immediately burst on the scene. Arma is not a small school down here. Um, right. so they, they've, they've not been as big and dominant as they once were a couple of you know, years ago, but, Still a really good school. They play the Lakelands, the Venice, you know, that Tampa area. So they play some really good schools. And if you look last year to that Venice team, who was a really great team, um, they had Charles Lester, who went up to play, or who's now at Florida State. Um, they've had some guys come through that defense who went on to play D1 ball, and he shredded them. You know, he rushed for 300 yards on them, made it look easy. And uh, I can't wait to get him on so we can kind of get, pick his brain. Um, you know, I've heard comparisons 
Um, so I kind of want to see who he compares himself to, who he mirrors game after, because um, there's been mixed, you know, sayings. He's 5'9", he's 5'11", you know, he may not be close to it either. So I want to get him on and kind of see what, what they say, you know, what he says himself, where he's at high and weight. Um, he is a track guy, so he runs 100 meter. Uh, I think he clocked a 10-5, I believe, this a uh, few weeks ago at mm-hmm. a track so we'll get on. We'll talk to him about that as well. Um, so I can't wait to kind of see what he's doing. Um, and then we'll get into also, once he gets on and we get him off, we'll get into kind of the visitors who've been, you know, here the last couple of weeks. The big weekend ahead, you know, here we go again. Mario doing what he does. So we'll get into that a little bit. And then we'll talk a little bit of uh, spring ball, just kind of what we're hearing and things like that. Um, once we get him on and get him off, um, there are a lot of things going on, especially in the recruiting world. It's kind of heating up. The different thing this year, at least I didn't see it last year, there's some OVs this year in May. Not just June, but May. Um, so I want to talk about that a little, just a little bit, but that's just something new. I know they're talking about moving the signing day up to June or July, I'm sorry. So that'll be something different there. Cause now we want to get these guys on campus and get them you know, kind of on the hook. And we'll see, you know, some guys may stay committed, some guys may sign in December, you never know. So I don't like it just for, you know, what it's worth. I'm not a fan of it. There's so much happens through the season. You know, kids can finally see what their team's going to look like, what the coaches are. Coaches get fired. I mean, there's so much <laughs> different parts through the season. So I'm not a huge fan of this. Signing day in the summer. I would stick with December. I know they moved that up a week. So um, I'm very interested in that. So we'll see. We'll talk a little bit about all that once, uh, once we get him on and off. So we are having a huge uh, weekend series this week against Clemson starting the night. Obviously, we're down 2-1 to one right now. So hopefully we can turn that over. Because Kane Baseball really needs that win. That would be a huge win for him. Yeah, what your as far as like uh, uh, commits and that thing, and kind of sticking with the running back room since that's sort of the topic right now, and obviously you got to commit right now. Like, what are your first of all your thoughts, and I guess kind of your wish list of, as far as where you would like to see uh, the staff go on the next recruit as far as the running back room? I got you. Oh, before I answer that, let me go ahead and get him on real quick. He just popped oh, on. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna let him hop on, introduce himself. Let's go ahead and get him on. Let's yeah. go, bro. You can hear us. Yeah, I can hear y'all. All right. So first off, appreciate your time, bro. Appreciate you coming on. Um, real quick, I mean, everybody should know who you are, but if they don't, let them know who you are, where you're from, what position you play, what class you're in. Uh, my name is Gerard Pringle. Uh, I play for Arnold High School. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I'm a running back. I got you. So first off, first thing I've seen, dumb question, right? A lot of people want to know, do you like Pringles? Yeah, I love Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that's the first NIL deal. Where we're NIL going. plug, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing I want to get into, man, because I've seen mixed things um, from different people, even including your Tampa area who's seen you play. What is your current height and weight? Uh, I'm 5'11", 182. Okay. Yeah, I've seen 5'9", I've seen, you know, uh, right. So, I mean, uh, I mean, going to different colleges, sometimes they mark me at 5'10 and a half, sometimes they mark me at 5'11. I got you. So, obviously, the the thing that a lot of Kings fans love to see is your speed, right? That, like, you, you, you're a blazer, right? But that's not the only thing. You know, you watch it say, a lot of you just see people run, you're, like, you're running by people, right? That's not the only thing else you could do, man. Tell, tell us, as a Running back prospect. What is Miami getting in draw print? Uh, a running back that can do everything. So catch out the backfield, stay in the back block, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm tired of hearing people say, "Oh, he's he's just quick." Nah, I want to hear that. <laughs> so Armwood, right? I was just telling for you got out here. It's it's a well known school here in Florida, right? Like. They've had championship runs, everything. You guys haven't been there lately because you're that area is it's 
become now a breeding ground for football. Venice is growing really good, Lakeland and all that. What was that game like, right? Venice High School last year, <laughs> in 300. Like, that's the most talked about game when, when people bring you up, right? Yes, what sir. was that like for you, man? Just glimpsing 300 and, and you know, running all over those dudes. Um, At the end of the game, I, I wasn't expecting to have two, 305 yards, 306 yards. Um, I had thought that I had like 250 and four touchdowns, but um, my coach had huddled us around and he had told me to come to the front. And he was like, uh, "We have a we have a new in game record for yards." And he had, he was like, "It was 306 yard 306 yards," and everybody was hyped. But come to the game, um, I was locked in. Um, I had to get some of my teammates right because it was the first game of the season. Uh, there was the state runner-ups. So um, I had to get everybody ahead in the game, and we came out on top. Gotcha. So before Coach Merritt got to Miami, Miami really wasn't recruiting you, right? No. Uh, I didn't have no no, no interest um, from them. Gotcha. So Coach Merritt gets there, right? Walk me through that conversation. What's that like? Coach Barry gets there, picks up the phone, he calls you, you call him. What's that like? What was that like? So um, when I first found out that he had went to Miami, I texted him. I was like, bring me with you. He called me a couple days later. <clears throat> he called me a couple days later. And he was like, I'm going to hit you back with some good news. The next day, he said he was going to hit me back. The weeks later, weeks like in a couple of weeks the next day he actually called me and he offered me and then um he was like he was in the office and he was he was extra happy but um i was happy to have that offer because me and him had already built a strong relationship gotcha so you take your trip down to miami a couple weeks ago right actually this week right or this past weekend what was that like for you, first trip there ever, or have you been there before you kind of now just going back to see me? Three trips. Okay. Once with my 17, but Coach Merritt wasn't there. Gotcha. That's, that's when I didn't have really no interest from them. My second time going, um, I, I love it. It was their first spring practice. But the second time, it felt different. Um, I, well, the first time, it, I loved it, but the second time, it just – it was a feeling. I I just felt different. Like that was that was the place I wanted to be. I got you. So going into the weekend, you know, of your visit, did you knew like okay, I'm going there, I'm committed, or was it something like when you got there, something happened? What was that? What was, what was it that made you commit? Um. When I I didn't I never knew that I was going to commit, but. I knew it was a possibility. So um, when I got there and I seen everything that I wanted, it was a no brainer because um, the relationship with Coach Merritt um, and Coach Cristobal was unmatched. Gotcha. So I don't know if you watched maybe games last year, the year before with Coach Merritt Ball, maybe, or uh, Coach Mario, maybe at Oregon, you've seen it. Knowing your head coach is an old line guy, what does that mean for you as a running back? Like, Walk me through that feeling, knowing that. That played a big part in it. Cause I know I'm always be safe behind my old lineman, and that we're always going to recruit the top lineman. I got you. So speaking of that, is there any old lineman out there that you, hey, I need you to block for me? Need you recruiting anybody yet? Or what's what's going on out there? I got I got some. I got some. I ain't gonna say no names right now, but I got some. I got I got one I need you to call. That's Zaire Addison right down the road from you. Yeah. Yeah. I've been yeah. trying to get high school. <laughs> Wanna come. He want me to join him. I can't. Yeah. I mean they got they got they got a few dogs over there at, at Summer. I know we're recruiting Tyler Williams and stuff too. So yeah. Yeah. Summer's, summer's legit. So I'm gonna pass over my co-host, man. Let him chop it up with you. Then he'll pass it back. So just real quick, touch on something that you just spoke on. You talked about Coach Merritt. You hit him up. It's like, hey, bring me with you when he was coming to Miami. 
Was that more of a desire that you respect him so much you wanted to specifically play for him or you wanted to play at Miami and was just waiting on the opportunity there? Um, it was more so uh, I was building a relationship with him for a year. Um, and I knew that was a coach that I, that was a coach that I wanted to play for. Okay. Can you elaborate a little bit and kind of talk to us about Coach Merritt? He's new to the program, so a lot of fans aren't real familiar with him. What kind of coach is he? What kind of uh, man is he? Like, what what makes that relationship so important to you? Um, he's a great man. He cares um, about more football. He talks to me about life. Um, when we get on the phone, we don't even talk about football most of the time. We talk about his family and his kids and my brothers and sisters, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend. Um, so it's, it's – it, it's more about life than okay good deal um have you had uh conversations or much contact with the oc coach dawson yet uh yes sir um i had three meetings with him um i had one with him over the phone i had i had two with him in one day um at at miami the last time i went um and he talked about good things. He showed me how he wanted to use me in the offense. Okay. I felt it was a great it was a great way of, of using a talent like mine. Okay. That's my next question was gonna be when you had those meetings and you said you can do a little bit of everything, what does he tell you as far as how he wants to use you? Kind of what's his plan? Uh he wants to there? meeting room. Um he showed he told me he was gonna show me something and he put on clips of Tavon Austin when he was there. Mm. Um, and he put on a game against Oregon. Um, and he was like, "This is how my this this is how I'm going to use you." And um, I felt like it was a great way of showing me how much he wanted me, how much he wanted to use me in his offense. Okay, good deal. So we've talked about what type of player you are. We've seen your film. We know what you can do. Your speed, all that stuff. Talk to me about what kind of teammate you are and what I mean by that, like like not just on the field, but like on the sidelines in the locker room, you know, maybe you guys are kind of the game's not going well, somebody's not playing well. Are you a vocal guy or do you just strictly lead by what you do on the field? Like what kind of teammate are you? Um, I strictly lead by what I do on the field, but <clears throat> in bigger games, when my teammates when my teammates' heads are down, I always stay in their ear. Um, one of those games was tech and one of those games on uh, our two base games for the season and I had to stare in their ear the whole game because I knew that we had to come out on top. Okay, good deal. So sophomore year, I think you were around six hundred yards and then you went crazy like last year, like basically seventeen hundred yards, I think. I think you guys went ten and two, had a really nice season. So what's next? What's the goals this year team wise and individual? State championship. State championship. What about individually? What do you want to accomplish? Because, I, I mean, you, you've got the numbers there. You've already committed now. You've kind of got that out of the way. So what do you want to do individually now? Um, my goal is to rush for 2,000 yards this year. Okay, good deal. Uh, so you've committed already kind of early in the process. Uh, what was it? That, did you want to commit early on? Was that the plan all along to kind of get that out of the way or kind of what was the, the thought process but there? The plan was to commit uh, late June, early July. Um, but I, I I fell in love with Miami and um, they showed me everything that I was looking for in the college. Okay, um, and I, I I know the the relationship with Coach Merritt. I get all that, and you really wanted to play for him. But you have some nice offers, man. Oh, it's not lie. You you know, Bama, Georgia's of the world. What I mean to 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 pick Miami, and we're glad you did. But to pick Miami, did, we, did you kind of see the focus and kind of the goals of where Coach Cristobal wants to go and you want to be a part of that uh, as opposed to go somewhere where like Bama and Georgia it's already established? Um, I want to be a part of bringing Miami to to a national championship. Um, I want to build with them, and um, I want to grow as a man with them. I also, um, they have some great coaches there, and – um, I I just love the feeling of being around them and being a part of what they have going on. Okay. Do you know yet what you want to do in college as far as a major, what you want to pursue? Sports management. Okay, good deal. Um, is your recruitment shut down? No, sir. Okay, so you're, you're still talking to other schools. I know, obviously, they're going to continue to recruit. No, I'm planning on 
shutting it down though. Um, okay. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Got you. Um, last thing for me, and I'm going to pass it back. Just something we kind of like to do. Um, when you're not playing ball, you're not working out, not practicing, man, what do you like to do? Hobbies, interests, that sort of thing. Uh, I like, I like, well, when I'm not, when I'm not playing football, I'm always around football. When I'm not playing football, I'm doing track. I'm always doing the sport. So. Got you. Okay. So you're always you're always on the field, on the track, something like that. Always, huh? always in motion you know, and running and stuff. So, got I you. Uh, what's your track goals this year? I know you you posted like the fourth fastest hundred meter, all that kind of. What's your goals there? What do you want to hit uh, track this season? My goal was to get to a ten five, and I actually got it my second track meet. <clears throat> um, so now my goal is to run a forty in a the a forty and a four by one, um, and a ten four and a hundred. Okay, good deal, man. That's all I got for you. I'm gonna pass it back. My co-host will kind of finish up. Thank you for your time. I love the shirt, by the way. We appreciate that, man. And best of luck. Can't wait. Oh, one last question. I lied. Are you going? When will you enroll? You going to early enroll, or do you know that? Yet? Early enroll. Okay, good deal. Back to you, Ross. <clears throat> I got it. A few more, man. We'll get you out here for the rest of the night. Uh, my bad. Miami just walked off home run to win the game against Clinton. So I was kind of spaced out for a second. I can't um, believe you're sitting still. I, it took everything I could not to jump out of the chair. I got so real quick, something I like to talk to people about is, so growing up, right, who are you a fan of? Did you watch college, NFL? Like growing up-wise, who who's you root for? Uh, <clears throat> My favorite running back always been Adrian Peterson. <clears throat> um. Of all time, is Barry Sanders. Um, but as of right now, I love Jameer Gibbs because that's that's how I run football. So, um, but my favorite team growing up, the Steelers. Um, my favorite college team, <clears throat> I never had one. I just I just always knew who the star players were, were um, and I always paid attention to what they do and how they carry themselves. Gotcha. So Barry Sanders, a little older than what, what you would be able to watch. Yeah, but mom, my, pops, somebody who who put you on? My pops. <laughs> okay. So at least, at least he's raising you right. I'll say that. Yeah. Pops, I know about all of them. Yeah. So did Pops have a football background, play a running bad? My 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 dad actually played um basketball. He never played football. Okay. I got you. So, real quick, man, um, just before we get you up out here, i like to ask three things, right? So, I'm going I'm to I'm say a word, right? I, first thing off your mind, whatever it means to you, just, you know, I want you to say it, but whatever, you, whatever you feel about it, all right? All right, so first one is football. Um, it, it's something that I love and I've been doing since I was five years old and um. I hope to continue to do until to the air runs out of football. I like that. All right, family. Um, that's my why. I got you. Armwood. That's my family too. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love all my teammates, coaches. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. So, in this position. I got you. Uh, so there's somebody over here that just asked as well um, in the chat. They said, "Are you going? Are you planning on running track at, at Miami as well, or is that something you're kind of done with at high school?" Uh, at the high school, I, I don't plan on continuing track. I got you. I got you. Well, we appreciate it, man. We appreciate your time. Real quick before you get out of here, for anybody that doesn't follow you already, let them know where to follow you on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want your recruitment to be tuned into. Um. On on Twitter at Gerard Pringle, on Instagram on Instagram CSC dot underscore Deuce two, um, and that's the only two social media I, I'm on. I got you, bro. I appreciate your time, man. We'll definitely have you back on maybe around the summer, kind of see how your spring ball went, kind of you know what's going on in the, in the summer, and we'll get you back on, bro. Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thank, Thank you. Sir.
All right, so it's four-star running back, Gerard Pringle, out of Tampa, Florida, out of Armwood High School. Um, if you don't know, maybe you haven't seen, I'm going to show a little bit of highlights. I had to, I had to do a little digging on this um, to find this highlight, but I found, uh, found this on YouTube randomly, and this is his high school, his junior year in high school. As you can see, I mean, first of all, the bat is returning the kick. And the kid just, I mean, he's got so so much of these speed, bro. Um, here's the game. He exploded on the scene. You can see completely bounces the ball back across the field. Gets outside, and there's nobody. And I don't know if you know, but number one right there chasing him, that's Charles Lester, who's uh, at Florida State this year. So, And Venice is not no scrub. Like he said, they were the state runner-up the year before. Bro, he year. looked, he looked, this shit looks like it's a fast forward. Literally. Literally. <laughs> and it's like the guy knew, like, I'm not going to be able to outrun him. So I'm going to just try to dive and hope I, I catch a shoe you, string. You, know? you just sort of hope to get in his way. I mean, you hope he kind of makes the wrong move and you just happen to be there, honestly. Man, how excited are you when you see a guy like this, you see the running back room, you see the direction of the offensive line, I mean, that's it, it's got to be something, man, that gets everybody so excited, so hopped up. Yeah, and I had somebody earlier, I don't know if he's in the chat. If he is, he's more than welcome to speak on it. Um, but somebody asked me, do I see Duke Johnson in him? And then my only thing was Duke had that phone booth twitch that I haven't seen from Gerard. I'm not saying he doesn't have it. I just haven't seen it because most of the time he's just – He's running right by people. Um, but I could definitely see, you know, that in him, you know, because he's got that burst. And once he hits that corner, it's over. Um, yeah, that, that so, burst, that pop. Right. You know, like, you watch him, and you, you got to get excited. I mean, just picture it, man. It's like Florida State down, you know, yeah, down I mean, three late in the game, and all of a sudden dude just hits a hole and goes. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Fact. I definitely missed this. My bad, Freddie. Appreciate the dollar done, and I don't know. Um, I'll send him a message and I'll get that answer for you. Uh, Norman, appreciate the fifteen dollar dono. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. As always, please go hit the like, subscribe button. This was I was literally trying to not lose my mind when Scanlon smoked that ball, especially it's like we're down one, bottom of the ninth, one out, dude. I was. And the Clips is the number three team in the country. I was trying to not lose my mind, bro. So, uh, so to, kind of, to kind of go along with that, that's the kind of player this dude right here is, that Pringle is. Bottom of the ninth, right? <laughs> Down one, walk-off home run. That's a, that's what I think when I see him. You know what I'm saying? Late yeah. in the game, down three, and he just makes a play and hits a hole, and he's just gone. Because once he yeah. – bro, what if you don't hit him early, it's over. I mean, if he if he gets a little bit of space and hits that second level, you're just fight. You're just not gonna catch him. You're just yeah. not. No, I agree. Um, Simon says, do you, do you think he runs like uh, LT? I personally don't. I don't think he's as big, and I think he's yeah, faster than LT. Yeah. I compared him earlier in the, our Discord to uh, to Alvin Kamara because you know if he got around the edge, he could definitely make you pay. What up, Matt? Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, bro, this this is what I'm I'm smiling from ear to ear to see. Yeah, deep running back room for sure, and I love not just that it's a deep room, but the versatility. Like, so you've got guys like this with the, with the speed and the burst, and you've got guys with the size that you you know Mario kind of wants to have that physicality as well. So. That, kind of that little, that one-two punch. You know, once you kind of settle in and you adjust them for that, that style of play, then you can get, bring a guy like him, Chris Johnson, Hellcat, you know, all, all those other dudes. It's just, like I said, it's really exciting. It looks good on paper, doesn't it? No, oh, man. I can't wait, bro. I think Mr. Meeting... Dick is putting up a sign in the yard right now, isn't he? He's going to be there, for, what, for a few days? Three days. That's yeah. what I said. This is a good way to segment into our next session. So this weekend is another huge visiting, you know, visitors list. Obviously, last week you had Pringle who popped and then committed. I mean, it seems like to me, you know, this visit here, he got in today, Thursday, and uh, he's staying.
through Saturday. Like, he's not leaving Saturday. He'll be here Saturday the whole day. So, I mean, that's a huge visit. Three days stay. I know we've heard LSU, Oregon. Those are some real contenders for sure. But, I mean, just seeing what we have coming in, I mean, that's a big time visitor. Um, you do have this guy as well coming in, Alvin Henderson. I mean, there's not probably a more a number one in my book at a run of that position than Alvin Henderson. Um, we've we've looked over his, you know, um, stats, and, and both of us about lost our mind on this dude. So, yeah. Bro, I thought I thought like I didn't even want to bring it up to anybody because I thought it's it's wrong. Like his stats, I'm like, I'm going to sound, you know, I'm just going to sound stupid if I like bring that up because people are like, I do that's that's a type of it. Like that's legit. And if you haven't seen his stats, I'm just, you need to go look him up. You couldn't put it on easy mode with 15 minute quarters in NCAA and come up with it's, a session. It's literally video game like. It doesn't even make good sense. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah, when I you agree. see when you see this guy and that we just got. And you see the other dudes, like we said, that are on the board. And the talent level is just through the roof. It's one of those deals you can kind of close your eyes and just kind of throw a dart. And whoever he hits, you're going to have an elite hall uh, running yeah. back box. You know, yeah. and, uh, and with, with, your, with your guy that we just mentioned, uh, Mr. Pickett, kind of hanging around, man, it kind of gives you that feeling. And, you know, a couple new coaches on staff. So, you know, running back coach, he's on the board. Coach Jackson, I'm just saying. You're on the clock, man. You know what I'm – and I, I kind of get the idea that, that that DB room's about to get a little – you know, get a little bit better. I think they've got the kind of the emphasis that the O-line, D-line has had the last two years. I think they really want to solidify that room with a really, really good class. Um, who do you think as far as not maybe – not even a name if you don't want to, but just as far as a position group, do you think the next commit will come from? Yeah, I mean, when you look at who's possibly next in line, we got to think Cortez Mills, right? I mean, this dude has mm -hmm. been a regular on campus. Like, yeah. almost like he's at practice himself. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know if he's ready to pop, but I do think we leave for, like, Chris Ewald. Um, I do think Ben Hanks, you know, I think we leave for both of those. Ewald, I've heard mixed motions. He wants to wait. He wants to go take visits. But I yeah. think, you know, those dudes at any moment can pop. Obviously, you got TJ Alfred this weekend. I think Mario's going to battle to the end. You know, just to, like we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, there's like those dudes games got to get brought up. Yes, sir. So, um, I mean, that's all I really got tonight. You got anything? I don't have much, man. I just, it's exciting, like. To mention these names, but we're legit in it for these guys. Like this isn't just names that are coming to campus. These aren't just names that are, you know, free vacations as we've dealt with uh, before. The we are legit in. I'm not saying we're getting all those guys, but we're legit in the mix for them. You know, in the conversation, and, and like you said, not just in the conversation for some, we actually in lead for some of these guys. So, you know, uh, top three class is very realistic. And I know it's early on, but you know this thing is is picking up some 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 steam now. So uh, it's going to be exciting, man. No, that's all I got, bro. Just excited to get that get that bat signal out, and uh, hopefully we'll see it again here in the next week week or two. I agree. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Appreciate all as always. Go hit the like, subscribe button. We'll be back next Thursday. As always, go okay.